Okay. So we're running the very bottom of our test hole. It's about um, a half bucket. Down to the very bottom, and so far the top got some flakes of silvery stuff. The next layer down, we got the same larger, like, you know, stuff you can see with your visible with your eye, and then a lot of microflower stuff that you can only see when it's magnified. So we're going to finish this off because. If uh, the trend continues, there should be more in this little bucket than in a full five gallon bucket. So, we'll give it a whirl. Alright, here's here this side. What do you got there? Oh, in the sunlight, it goes really, really, really shiny. Oh, right here. Set it over here. It's not really doing it, but the sun gets on. Set it over here. We're going to get this last one. Wow, it's great.
chili. Okay, so you can see where the riffles were. You get the lines, right? And that's where the nuggets and, and fines will end up. So I'm going to wash out this carpet. some water up there, bud? No, no. You Just don't want wash the whole thing down into here. concentrates will be in here. We're going to dump the water off the surface and we will take that and pan it and come back to show you what we got. It won't look like much, just sand and wax. But, okay, so we got all our concentrates out of here into the pan. We're going to get rid of the muddy stuff. Here's what's left. Doesn't look like a lot right now. So we're going to get this filled up with clean water and then we'll pan it. All right, here it is. It's starting to hail out. Snowish hail. It's chilly. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've washed out as much as the silt that I can. It's actually very, very fine sand that is just floating to the surface over and over and over. So I've gone through it and cleaned it as best I can. Now, I'm not the world's greatest panner, so you're not about to see any this is how you do it lesson. If anything, some of you might know better than me and be going, what are you doing? But you can still see the silt is floating. And that's after me doing this about 10 times already. Okay, here. And you take that and you can film me pretending I know what I'm doing. All right, we're going to settle this stuff down to the bottom. Any of the heavies will go down to the edges, what I understand. I've only been doing this myself for a couple of years, so... You come along with a newbie, you get what you get. All right, now we've got a little white stuff. Floating around, it's just an eyesore. No idea where it's from. But over and over and over, we're taking the silt out of it. All right. Now, our stuff should be down on the crease. We've got the riffles there, so anything heavy really should settling to that crease right at the bottom of the pan. So we're not 
likely lose it, even though I'm not a professional at this. You can see in here already, look at the black. There's a line of black sand here. It's just, oops, sorry. It's crazy how much is in there. Why it's drifting up already. Yeah. It's that light. get down far enough, we're going to switch over to the smaller pan. It could all be done in this one. More visible in this one too. Alright, wash some of this away. Get her down to the bottom again. Over and over and over. It's a time consuming thing if you're dealing with stuff this light. When you're dealing with nuggets or something of heavier value, you can go rot rougher than this. But stuff this light that you want to get a sample of, you want to keep as much of it as you can in the pan. You want to make sure it stays down there and you don't wash it out. See, sometimes they'll climb the sides of the pan as you're shaking, and you'll be washing out this and you're washing out the stuff from the sides. So every time you shake it down, you're going to bring it down, you can take another layer off. Because our stuff is so fine, we're being extra cautious. Get her down in there. All right. It's all about weight. Technique helps, but getting it settled is going to save you a lot more than flower gold or. In this case, whatever these shiny stuff is, could be platinum, could be nickel. There's platinum in the area, and that's the one I'm really hoping for. But I've, in all my um, research, I can't find where you're seeing platinum flakes floating around in, the, in, you know, gravels and stuff. So it's a little perplexing. But there's two mines just to the south of us that def definitely have platinum. Platinum showed up in the uh, results from drilling and all that, uh, and placer samples to the north. So it's extremely rare to find nuggets of platinum. So what exactly were they finding to the north? Right? It has to be flakes, I would imagine. You will know soon enough because I have some hydrogen peroxide. And if you put platinum in with hydrogen peroxide, it starts to bubble immediately. If it's silver, it takes a minute or so. And I cannot find any information on nickel, whether or not it bubbles or how long it takes or anything like that. So, All right, we're going to switch over to the smaller pan. extremely fine flower sand and from what I've seen under magnification it could definitely have some of those little shinies in it it's insane how much was in that last batch there was a handful you know a half a dozen to a dozen ones you could see with your eyes and there was hundreds that you could only see under my magnification um, I had it at 60 times magnification Okay, let's start washing some of this in. Again, we're shaking it down to the bottom. Taking the stuff off the top and the front. Over and over.
These placer gravels really crush up the sand super fine. There's nothing here is like powder. Right, that's like flowery. It's so small. Like flour. That you bake bread with. Black sand going over the tip there. That shouldn't be happening so quick. You can see the little stones are settling out along that crease too. We are getting there slowly but surely. Those little stones are so hard to separate out of this stuff that I end up having to do it by hand at the end. See the black sands mixing in with those blondes at the end? They're so fine, they're going over the ripples, they're not settling to the bottom. time we got down to this point, we actually had some steel, a little piece of uh, metal nail or something. This is just goes to show you. All right, all these little stones are settling to the bottom in this stuff. All heavy little pieces of quartz and whatever. So I toss them in there. Actually, getting them separated um, by panning. By the time you get them out of the pan, you're going to lose your fines because the fines are so small and light compared to these little pieces of gravels. Very different ball of wax than uh, panning in a river where a lot of these guys are cleaned off because you're dealing with much coarser sand down at the, in a river. That is cold on the fingers. Look at this guy. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm seeing color in that. Yeah, very light though. That one's light. I don't know why it's still sitting down there. There might be metals in it. And... Oh my goodness, this is crazy. The amount of little gravels. Alright, let's settle it down to the other side of the pan. Where we have no riffles to protect us. And hold on to the good stuff. Start working the stuff off the edge. And then we'll bring her back because you can see those stones are floating up and those are the heavies. And look at the stuff on the leading edge here, how light it is it wants to get out. <laughs> it's insane how fine this stuff is. And there we're getting down, we can see some blacks. mixed right in with the sand. Like this is different than a lot of the stuff I've seen people pan. It's it's quite mixed together. It's more of an everybody's equal and you can't get rid of even the lightest stuff without getting rid of your stuff you want. All right. Separate, separate out the real heavies, and you get the idea. The black sand is piling up here is where those super fine flakes are, flower flakes. And it takes a lot to get all of it out. There 
there's a lot of um, magnetic material there in the black sands. And here comes the rest. There's more coming now. Oh, I almost washed it away again. And it's piling up there along the edge. And look how much is coming up. magnify that. I can see one speck right here. If you magnify this, you'll see a lot more though. Oh, man, this stuff is just so crazy, crazy. The whole thing is full of magnetic sand. see the black sands down here. They're wanting to go off. Here comes the sludge, I call it. It'll come up so thick and roll because it's right loaded with this stuff. But it is super duper fine. And unfortunately it hangs on to some of the lighter material when it does that. see some orange tinge to it. Um, there's quite a bit of copper in this stuff. Alright, now we're getting right down to the last of that stuff. How thick it is. Like, you can visibly see how thick it is. It's two or three sheets of paper put together. And it's like a sludge. It's a crazy amount of stuff. Alright. And that's what we got left. If I go any further, I'm going to lose what, what little. There's some blondes in there, there's no doubt about it. But if I go any further, I'm going to lose what finds I have that are actually good stuff, so we're going to take that and dry it, and we will get any magnetic material out of it. See what happens from there. Look at that, they're still, my goodness, look, still stones. Like, they just cling on to this stuff. a visible shiny. Can you see that? Right in front of my fingertip. There's okay, the angle I'm on, I can see them. Right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. The sun's hitting it from my angle. And if you shade it, yep, it disappears. So it's nothing fancy. Alrighty. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take a look at those two. I gotta get my glasses, so might as well turn her off for now, bud. doesn't look like it's going clear enough to see. Okay, so there's what remains of 11 gallons of dirt. Pay dirt. <laughs> I just fogged up my lens. 
It's just on low and it's drying and then we'll see about getting the metallic sands out of it. There's going to be some blondes in there. Whoa! Cut again. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's just a wonderful thing.